October 3, 2021, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts, 1, runs off the field after loss against the Kansas City Chiefs at Lincoln Financial Field. Mandatory credit, Eric Hartline USA Today Sports. Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts is looking forward to working under new offensive coordinator Kellen Moore, but he is hoping this is the last time he has to come to grips with a new offensive coordinator for quite some time. Hurts made clear that he is tired of the revolving door of offensive coordinators he has experienced in his time with the Eagles, and that he would like to see some continuity in the role going forward. I think as a player, I definitely yearn for the sustainability and the consistency there, Hertz said, via Tim McManus of ESPN. As a quarterback, I yearn for those things in a play caller and a quarterback coach because you kind of see how consistency in those areas can breed excellence. I find myself in a situation very similar to college in terms of having a constantly revolving door in terms of coordinators and coaches. But I've always managed to have success in it, so that's always been a good thing, because you've been able to learn from people and apply it. Hertz will have his fourth offensive coordinator in five seasons with the Eagles in 2024. Head coach Doug Pedersen largely ran the offense in his rookie season, followed by two years of Shane Steichen. Steichen then left to become head coach of the Indianapolis Colts and was replaced by Brian Johnson who did not last through the 2023 season. Hertz's stance is totally reasonable. It has been hard for him to establish any real continuity when he has to learn a new playbook every year. The risk is that the Eagles become victims of their own success, as Moore has been considered for head coaching vacancies before. That may happen again if the offense performs well in 2024. Despite the changes, Hertz has performed no matter who has been running the offense. He threw for a career-high 3,858 yards in 2023 despite the unit's issues, with 38 total touchdowns.